Ethan was a sweet, wonderful, smiling little kid when he was a baby. He carried his bottle around just like every other kid. He tore up things just like every other kid. We live in a little town called Opelika, Alabama. This is a little town full of history with a lot of old buildings and beautiful southern homes. There's a lot of southern charm. You can still get your iced tea with a rocking chair. Everybody kind of knows each other. I was actually the only one that noticed it when he was born. When I was pregnant, he kept his hands and fists so that nobody ever saw anything. Just like every other parent, I think we went through the same of worrying about how he was going to do this or how he was going to do that. The big one was how was he going to learn how to tie his shoes. He was always in daycare, so he's always been around other kids, and at some point, I guess, they did start noticing. He would ask little questions about why his hands that way or if it would ever change, and we've just always let him know everybody's different in some way. Not one person is exactly like another person. It's okay. That's what makes him unique. We didn't know anybody that had the same kind of issues or that had children that were in the similar situation. I thought it would be great if we could have a handmade for Ethan that would go through this source rather than a traditional source that can be vastly more expensive than what we could have afforded. Ethan had a few questions about different things, so we were sitting on the computer one afternoon. Um, we then started investigating a little more and went to the Google Plus community for Enable and asked if they could possibly have a way to help Ethan. Honestly, I knew nothing about 3D printing. So yeah, I was curious if it was real and to start with, I was kind of skeptical. But it's real. It's a real thing and it can make a real difference in someone's life. Enable is a community of about 3,000 members globally. We work with recipients that ask for assistive devices, primarily arms and hands at this point. It almost moves faster than you can get used to the first thing and then we're on to something else. And we've gone from originally a full version of a hand that didn't allow for Ethan's thumb. Since then it has evolved into versions of the devices that allow Ethan to use his natural thumb as well. The fact that it's all open source and anyone can use these designs that are being made is just wonderful and it's amazing. I can't print hands, I don't know how, but I can match people to have them printed for them. So that's, that's what I spend my days doing. He has gotten to meet adults that have gone through childhood with a hand just like his. He's had opportunities to go and represent Enable himself at the Maker Fair. I think it's given him more confidence and he knows there's people that he can reach out to now if he has questions about what comes next. I think when it comes to 3D printing, the only thing that limits what can be done is our curiosity and where we decide we want it to go. If your child has freckles or one child has blue eyes, that's them, you love them, and you don't pay attention to it. I don't notice it anymore. I can't honestly think of one single thing that has ever stopped Ethan. This has been the most amazing experience. There just aren't words to describe. It.